Hi, I'm Emma reporting for Winkball and today we're at Fright Fest 2017 in Leicester Square. Let's go interview some actors, film directors and film buffs who all love horror. Well, I love Fright Fest because I'm a lifelong horror fan since I was like eight years old. I've always watched the movies and this is the ultimate celebration in the UK. Not only do I put on like 60, 70 new films every year, many of which don't get a proper release in the UK, so this is the place to see it. But they also have all the guests, they have the directors, they have the stars, they all mingle with the crowd. It's a very warm atmosphere, very welcoming, just a lovely place to be. It's really great. I love Fright Fest just because of the range of horror films. You get to see new films before they come out, and you're amongst horror fan film lovers. And why do you think it's special that your films are being exhibited at Fright Fest? You know, honestly, I think Fright Fest is such a well-known brand, and I think that you know it's it's synonymous over the world with quality horror films. And for me, you know, Redwood was written in two days last July. It was shot in 14 days in August, and. You know, just finding out I was in Fright Fest was something, but finding out we were an opening night movie against some seriously big budget films is um, phenomenal. And then we sold out twice, so uh, it's, it's probably an experience I'll never forget, you know, especially as a, a fairly new director. We yeah, wanted so. to sort of do something different with this, with this movie in so much as we want you to feel the characters, you know, and whereas sometimes with horror you're waiting for them to get knocked off. Uh, with this one, we've sort of, we hope that we take you on a journey with them. Um, and there is obviously the element of horror in there in the form of vampires. So. How did you get into character? Like, how did you make yourself scared? I have to say, I just went and trusted my instinct and just lived in the moment. I said, just go for it. Because it is a low-budget film and also because it was very go, 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 you've got to trust your instinct, you trust your surroundings and your partner and just let, let's see what happens. And that's what I loved about this. I mean, Redwood is full of real, natural improv moments just going there. Of course, there's a study behind it and everything, but I also like to let go and see, let's see what happens. And honestly, being in the woods in Poland, which is beautiful, a lot of things come out, <laughs> yeah. especially at night time. And why have you come to this festival? Well, one of my friends told me that uh, you have a lot of uh, independent movies, which are made in a low budget. And I like the fact that you see something with a good script. And also sometimes you are out of nothing, you can create something which makes you happy. And uh, at the same time, scary, you know? So why not, you know? You always have to try something new in life. You never know, you know? Sort of people that come here, it's like, um, it's sort of like a who's who. I mean, um, uh, a couple of years ago, um, I mean, Robert Englund was here, and like, the guys are absolute legends. Um, uh, like, you've got Kane Hodder coming at some point this this weekend, and, and like, these are people that you know, that you know that you may not know them by face because they're usually in prosthetics and things like that. But they're they're names that are re- that are that mean something in the industry. What a great festival! If you like horror films, you need to get down to Fright Fest 2018 and meet actors from your favourite horror films, directors, and film buffs alike. I'm Emma reporting for Winkle. <laughs> 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 <laughs>